Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to the Pause Your Stress virtual visit for the Therapy Dog program. This is Zafod, and I'm Tanya. And uh, we're really happy to be here with you today. So Zafod and I are part of St. John Ambulance Therapy Dog Program. And one of the places that we visit is the University of Saskatchewan. And so we're part of the Pause Your Stress Program. And because of the physical distancing that we're all being asked to maintain right now, we cannot visit you in person, which we're really sad about but we're really really happy that we have another way to connect with you and that the creative and um, inventive folks at the pause your stress program at the u of s have come up with this way for us to spend some time together so zafat has been a therapy dog for about seven months and he loves it and any of you who have seen therapy dog in person know that usually we wear uniforms. So for the dog, it would be either a white or a red bandana. And for the handler, it's uh, usually a black and gray shirt or pardon me, black and green shirt. But I'm not, neither of us are in uniform today because this guy is really smart and recognizes not only his red bandana, but my t-shirt <laughs> and he thinks he's going to visit people right that's the association he's made so um, we're not in uniform today but uh, we are proudly representing pause your stress and st john ambulance therapy dog program so zaphon and i thought we would let you into a little slice of our life and one of the things that keeps us really centered and grounded is to do this. <laughs> this is a bit of a ritual that we have done together, him and I, since he was a young pup. He came to us, we adopted him at about 12 weeks, and I started sitting on the floor with him, holding him in my lap. He was this big. Um, I had no idea he was going to grow this big. <laughs> anyway, I just found that by doing that, it kind of settled him and I could feel it in his body. You saw how he just kind of almost threw his head over my leg there a few moments ago. And he just really calms and settles when we're in this position, spending quiet time together. And it's good for me too, um, because it's time that he and I have. And, um, and it's a ritual. So typically we do this in the morning. Typically I have a cup of coffee and it's one of the first things we do in the morning together and during the pandemic we've continued that and i just find it a very centering practice almost for for both of us however because we knew we were doing the live stream we didn't um or the facebook live event we didn't do it this morning so Although I'm suggesting that routine is important for Zephod and I to stay healthy and well and centered, we don't get too hung up about keeping this routine precisely at the same time. We just make sure we do it every day. And so sometimes we can sit here for five minutes or a lot longer <laughs> and we just hang out.
So once again, to anyone who has joined, this is Zephod. He's a St. John Ambulance therapy dog, and I am Tanya, his handler. And we're just sharing with you one of our daily routines, sitting on the floor together. I have a cup of tea beside me. Hope you're all doing well. sure the, uh, the computer audio isn't picking it up, but the reason Zephod's looking out the one direction there is because there are birds chirping in the backyard. We can hear them, but you guys probably can't. And so he's always interested in the birds. <laughs> and were I to let him outside, he would run out into the yard and chase all the birds out of the yard. Oh, so a question has arisen about whether Zephod likes to run or play in the yard. Great question. Zephod loves to be in the yard, um, and he likes to play with his brother, who is not a therapy dog. His name is Stanley, and you can see how close he is to us while we do our little ritual. Um, so they will sometimes chase each other in the yard. Um, but Zephod's not much for play. Um, he loves to sit. He, we have stairs going down our, off into our kind of uh, patio, and he'll sit on the top stair for hours, and he'll watch the birds, and he'll just sniff the air. Um, sometimes he'll find a sunbeam, and he'll lay in the sunbeam for hours and hours. Even in winter, he'll lay outside, so he loves being outside. But this is kind of Zephod's speed right here. <laughs> he doesn't play very much. Great question. Though he has been a little bit more active with uh, Brother Stanley here, who, who is a very active dog. Um, Stanley has, I think, raised Zephod's activity level game a little bit. Zephod is five and a half years old, so his birthday is December 14th. And he's always been kind of this way, like this calm. Um, even as a puppy, he wasn't super, you know, energetic or wild with energy. He was a little more energetic than this, but this is just kind of who Zephod is in terms of temperament and speed. Ah, how did he get his name? Well, my partner and I 
we knew we had a unique dog on our hands when we adopted Seifa. And we took about three weeks. He, his name prior to that had been Theo. That's what the um, rescue agency had, had named him. And we felt he wasn't a Theo, but we didn't know what. And so we would walk him and just spend time with him. Hi, yeah, hi, sweetheart. And we would just spend time with him. And we were trying to figure out this name and we'd come up with these lists and we'd, you know, cross names off. And not so long prior to that, I had reread a book called Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is also a movie. But um, it's by Douglas Adams and it's a sci-fi fantasy book. And the main character's name is Zephod Beeblebrox. <laughs> and in that book, I won't, I won't, do any spoilers, but the main character is kind of the ruler of the universe and is a unique creature, let's just say that. And so I mentioned that to my partner who said, absolutely, that's the right name. So that's how he came by his name. So I hope that some of our calm, centered <laughs> um, energy during this routine that we do every day was evident to you. Um, and, you know, this program is going to be so great. There's going to be all kinds of fabulous therapy dog teams who will be doing all kinds of different activities and you'll get to engage with them twice a week and so stay tuned and um, yeah we hope that you enjoy we hope that we can visit you soon in person but of course we will you know we will follow all the directives of the public health officials the wisdom there so until then know that Zephod and I send you our good wishes <laughs>